Hi, all my gorgeous friends and family uh, in this uh, big and fantastic and crazy world. Uh, I'm sitting here with my morning tea, and the sun's quite bright already, so uh, I hope it's okay, the light. But uh, I felt uh, I'd like to share something with you. And first of all, say again how precious you all are to me and how uh, it just is something I've never imagined would happen in my life uh, to feel connected to people so far away uh, on such a deep level. So although I don't know you personally, I sense your presence and I sense the connection between us. And I just got a, a, a message the other day where I actually felt physically, while I was reading it, how my heart it just did something in my heart. It just was so wonderful. My heart was really dancing. And um, and it just shows how powerful love is. And love is, I mean, love is the power. <laughs> love is actually uh, what everything is made of. It is the, the, the most powerful part of life. And it is life itself. So it's just the mind can't grasp it. But Thank you, thank you, thank you for every one of you who writes uh, and even pe people who aren't so positive, just connecting and sharing what you feel and think is so valuable. So thank you all. And uh, this today is, is, um, is a funny message but also I think a very powerful message that came to me this morning and I, and I sort of feel a little bit heavy. Uh, in my heart, a little bit sad, and I'm not sure if this is going to work on the video, but <laughs> I'll try. And it's about loving ourselves, and it's such a huge subject, and when we hear it for the first time, we think it sounds stupid, because, I mean, the world is so full of narcissism, and or everybody's thinking about themselves, and now we should love ourselves, it just seems wrong, but, but it, <laughs> it really is uh, the only path to living a beautiful life and it is very very hard to really understand and I think that it is really the healing path uh, or the path to anything good is to really learn to love ourselves and I can just feel it that I've, I've, I feel I've reached far but I have so far to go <laughs> it's just incredible how when you go deeper and deeper and they say that on the spiritual path that it get becomes more and more complex more and more difficult it doesn't become e in a way it becomes easier and better but on another in another way it becomes more complex but anyway I was shown how um, this self-love how even though we've started and we've done it for years I've been doing it for 30 years there's always new layers of love that we can step into, go into. And luckily, when you believe in God, or if you don't believe in God, it doesn't matter, because God is there anyway. But having this dimension in life that God is there teaching you to love, to become a love being. That's why we're here. Um... And what I was shown was that there is a criticism going on in our mind. Well, it is in my mind. I don't know about you, but in my mind, criticizing what I do, what I really feel is, is true to me. Although I say, okay, I'm going to do this, always there's this nagging voice. Ah, but it's not good enough. It's probably the wrong thing you're doing. It's, why couldn't you do better? Why couldn't you be kinder? <laughs> it's just a constant nagging, you know, these people who are naggers, who just always complaining. It's like that in, in your mind. And it's so destructive. Uh, and, and when we look at uh, the world today, the mind that we're used to using is, is what has created this world. That's the mind. I mean, that is the, what has made this whole structure of the world killing itself with pollution and war and everything falling apart and just destroying so much and being so unkind, just seeing how the animals are being treated just in my country. It, 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 you just, you'd think it's some concentration camp, 
<laughs> these animals are living in it well that's what it is and it is uh, we don't talk about this because it's not nice to talk about but there is so much cruelty going on to every life form and what has made human beings, and it's human beings who are doing it, it's not the animals, <laughs> the plants who are doing it, it's us, human beings, and it's our mind that has dictated us to live this way. And so I really got this strongly this morning that where we are right now in humanity, we have to change or we're going to kill ourselves. It's just uh, logical. Uh, uh, so uh, it's just there's no way around it. And so each of us are being guided from within to change, to change the way we think, to change the way we are. So of course, uh, whenever a new insight comes up, like you might be going to dinner parties with your husband or wife or do things a certain way and suddenly you don't feel like going to those dinner parties anymore. It feels wrong, it feels false, or it just feels, you just don't like it. And saying to your wife or your spouse, I don't want to do this anymore. Whoops. Oh, that, I, that's right. I had to mention you. I'll just finish this, what I'm saying. I really, really tell, uh, want to tell you, share with you in this video. Do it. And, and see how powerful this is. And your spouse might be jumping and screaming and, and shouting, saying, why are you not why don't you? You have to be true to yourself. And that is the path of Christ. That is the path of spirit, to walk your path, to follow the guidance of your soul. Although everybody is used to do, you doing something different, everything different, step by step start to say, this is what I feel is right for me. And nobody's going to drop down dead. <laughs> you're, not, you're not doing anything destructive. On the contrary, you're bringing, you are changing. And although the things you want to do, you might like to stand on your head three hours a day. Uh, I mean, you might want to do some really crazy things. I want to really say to you, do it. And and when you're doing it, that's the big one. Stop nagging yourself. Tell yourself, this is fresh. This is new. I don't know why I need to do this, but I feel I need to do it. Do it. Because I'm sure this is what's going to save the world. This is what's going to... Uh, make a really well the beautiful life we're looking for by us stepping onto new paths and daring to say that this is what I want to do and this is what I'm going to do and then the next step is which I feel I'm, I'm battling with to really stop nagging yourself while you're doing it uh, like my husband asked me to do something tonight and I said um, my mind says, oh, you should do that. And I could feel inside, I don't feel that's the right thing to do for me. And I said, no. And it, it's like this hammering going on, that why couldn't you do this? But really, it doesn't feel right for me. And I want him to do the same. If there's something that doesn't feel right for him, don't do it. Because it's not honest. And it's not nice. Doing, saying yes, and in your heart meaning no is not is actually quite horrible so and this is where we have to be we ha if we want to change and really live beautiful lives and at the same time we're changing the world uh, we have to stop using the old mind and it really does mean to stand so strongly where you are and allow yourself uh, to say uh, it's okay I don't want to do these things I did before. It's okay. I want to do things that really fulfill me. And that's where I am at, really at in my life. And people might think, and people do think, I'm stupid and even horrible. I just know I'm doing something really, really beautiful for myself. And I'm feeling better and better and better. And when the the people I want to share my love with and to really help. I love helping them. It comes from the depths of my heart when I do it. And they might not give me anything back. I just love it. And that's, I think, what how God created the whole world. This is how we're meant to live. 
by doing things we just deeply love. So no matter whether it's washing clothes for someone, wiping up their whatever, whatever you're doing, if you feel this feels right for me, I enjoy this, I want to do this, <laughs> you're blessing the world and you're living, you're living in joy. And of course, to give space to do these things that you really love to do, you have to stop doing things you don't like to do. So, we have been dictated, and actually, I was just talking to someone yesterday uh, about how destructive, I've just mentioned it before, we are so destructive with human beings, and we can't see it, because we're just uh, dictated, we, like we are brainwashed. This is what you have to do. This is what you have to buy. This is what you have to say. It's not true. Most of it is just one huge lie. So I just really want to, to um, encourage you. If you feel like something in your life has to change, you might not even feel what you want to do, but you feel what you don't want to do. Stop doing it. <laughs> just stop doing it. Because you're, you're, you're really moving on to, to this new track of of life and love and joy and well-being and shining and and this little uh, or big bunch of flowers I don't know if the whole bunch is there I was given by my daughter yesterday and is that not a, a, a message of love that she and she does this often and I just after 11 years of very, very, very difficult relationships, she gives me flowers. And I just think it is so beautiful. And I have definitely worked hard, I feel, to get to where I am today. And the work has all consisted of loving myself. If you can't love yourself, rejoice in who you are. People can't love you. It's just impossible <laughs> because you're not a love space. You don't attract love. So I found out I was there for everyone. I was trying to fix everyone. I was trying to um, to make everyone happy. It's useless. It's, it's, it was a very, very bad track. And I was uh, destroying myself. And when I stopped all that, I said, okay, what do I really want? What makes me really joyful? And it's very simple things. Uh, but there's so many beautiful things that I just love to do and it makes me feel so good. And now people are, are I mean the people who really, really, uh, very, I mean our children are so dear to us, they're just sending me uh, messages of love and that just shows me that this is the recipe. <laughs> love yourself. Whoop! It's, it's telling me it's not got the right bars. It's so big, it needs a big bar. So anyway, uh, dear, loved, uh, beloved friends and family, I uh, ask for God's blessings over you where you are. And uh, may this day be a special day where you really dare to, to change the way your heart is telling you. So, see you soon.